What's going on fools? This is Shoke and for those of you who may not know what this box is, this is my capture card that I ordered um last week. And the weird thing is is that um you know Tuesday morning I woke up and I checked my email and they said that my order had been cancelled. Because I had ordered it um you know last week and it said it would take three to five business days, you know, so it was gonna come in next week or whatever, but um Tuesday morning it said that it was cancelled and I know for a fact I didn't do that, so I guess that was, you know, app, something, you know, on Amazon's part. I don't know. But um, the cool thing was is that when I went back to reorder it, they actually had um, this Amazon Prime, um, you know, free trial thing going on. And basically um, for, I, I think it's a month, maybe not a month, maybe like two weeks. So some, some amount of time, um, you could use um, Amazon Prime for free and you could choose um, one day shipping for like an extra $3. And the normal shipping is like two day shipping. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if they're still doing the deal right now, but, you know, go over there and check it out and see if um, they're still doing it. But let's unbox this beast of a capture card. Um, I'll be opening it up with my katana here. Okay. It's not very sharp, by the way. It's a display katana. <laughs> there we go. Actually, it was kind of sharp though when um, we first got it, but we actually um, used it to cut down our banana trees every winter. Because you know, if you leave banana trees up during the winter time, they'll freeze, they'll die. Here it is, Avermedia um, internal capture card goes into your PC. And it comes with all the dongles and everything, so you can hook up your game console straight to, um, you know, your computer, and you can actually play them on your monitor if you want to, and you can record them. Now it comes with, um, you know, recording software, but if you don't want to use the recording software, you can also use Fraps, which, um, if you're trying to record, um, PS3 or 360 footage, um, you'll actually have to do because there's one catch to this thing. And that's that um, you cannot record using this program that comes with this. You can't record any kind of video coming through HDMI because something about HDMI is copyrighted. You know, or some shit like that. But, um, you know, that's no biggie. You can either just run it through composite cables or, like I said, you can still run it through HDMI and just use Fraps, you know, to record it. But this was $99. You could go over to Amazon and get this for $99. Um... Right now, it was all together. It was 107 with the shipping. Very, very good deal. Um, one day shipping for $107. Get my katana. Yeah. Want to be careful not to um, you know, damage what's inside. There we go. Um, this video is gonna be like zoomed in so you guys can see the specific um place where I'm actually you know putting in my capture card. Um, here it is right here, the um, Avermedia internal capture card for your PC. Um, of course it records in HD and all that, chaboodle. Um, like I said before, $99, um, $107 with um, one day shipping, so it was a really good deal. And here is the actual card itself, and I know to a lot of you PC guys, um, this seems like a, a disaster. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> after, I, uh, after I was putting my PC together and whatnot, um, I didn't go back in and, you know, organize my cords and land like that. And I know that's unhealthy, but I was too excited. I wanted to try out my PC, you know. But um, there's my GPU. For those of you who may not be tax savvy, um, that's the GPU. GTX 560. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, under this red core right there, these two red bars right there. Th that's the RAM. Those are um, 2x2 two two, um, G-Skill. Uh, RAM G-Skill is a very good brand, by the way. So if you're looking for some more RAM... Um, tried G skills, and of course that's my um CPU AMD Phenom 2 uh, 3.4 gigahertz processor. Um, you know it, it it's a good processor. It gets the job done. It's just that sometimes it can run a little hot. Um, there's my hard drive, of course, and this thing right here is actually an extra fan that um BBC installed because um this is BBC's previous case, so he actually installed that extra fan over there, try to cool it off a little bit. Um, it helps a tad bit. But, you know, not a lot. I'll notice like a two, you know, two degree drop. But anyways, um, like back to the GPU itself. Here's where you plug in the HDMI. You see it says HDMI right there. 
And while this is, you know, pretty much an HDMI cord, this is for, you know, any AV or, you know, S video or anything like that. Anything else that's not HDMI you want to plug in because it comes with adapters, you know, and dongles or whatever for any anything that's not using HDMI. But um, anyways, let's get to the installation part. Um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it well. You you can see it, but um, these two black parts right here is where I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to install something into your PC because everybody thinks it's a complicated process. You have to be this huge geek, you have to be this huge nerd. No, it's like Legos, and I'm gonna show you. So uh, let's get this baby in. Oh, make sure you're touching something else on metal when you're touching your PC parts. Make sure you um, stay grounded. Okay, so there we go. It's in. You gotta wait for that um, snap or whatnot. And then over here to the side, um, adjust my camera. You gotta um, screw in whatever you put into your um, PCI port. So let's screw this baby in. Yeah, I definitely um I'm definitely gonna upgrade my PC for um, next generation. But um these specs have done me pretty damn fine, you know, this whole time. It's been serving me pretty well. I really haven't had any problems with them or anything like that. So uh there we go. Done. Done. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Done. It is that easy. It is that simple. And the same way I installed that capture card, that is the same way, the exact same way you install your GPU. You just stick it in, screw. Um, the RAM down here, you, those you don't even have to screw in. Those literally, like straight up, like Legos. You just, pump, pump, done. So, you know, putting together a PC, guys, don't be intimidated by it. It is actually a very easy you know simple process like like I told you you know Legos um the motherboard pretty much you just set it make sure you line up the holes where the screws are supposed to go just set it down in there screw it in and of course you know plug plug it up to the power supply and then bam that's it your motherboard's in so putting together a PC guys is very simple and like I said you know uh, the fan BBC installed you can even put custom crap in there all you gotta do is just find a nice spot for it and then um you know, just plug in one of the cords from the um, power supply, you know, into whatever you're trying to put in there. But yeah, there we go. There's the installation of my um, catcher card. And I'm going to be putting up some um, some um, footage, you know, some uh, capture footage to show you guys the quality. It's a really great card. Um, the only catch, it's, it is, it's $99. It's a great price. And of course, it's, you know, hooked up directly to the motherboard. So, you know, you really don't have to worry about any, you know, audio, um, you know, not being in sync or any stutters like that. It's seamless. I've seen this thing, you know, run before. The only catch is if you're trying to record something um, through HDMI, you're not going to be able to record using the program that comes with the, um, you know, the Aver Media capture card. You see what I'm saying? Because something about HDMI is um, copyrighted or something like that. But um, it's not the end of the world. You can use fraps. So, you know, that pretty much solves that problem right there. So, for any any system or whatever you're using through HDMI, you'll have to record using fraps. Um, other than that, you can actually use the software that comes with it. So, it's pretty awesome. Um, and this right here, here's the dongle for anything that's not HDMI. See, it has pretty much everything you possibly need composite component and of course um you know s video so you know it comes with everything you don't have to buy anything extra like like i just showed you guys the installation process is simple all i gotta do is close this back up hook it back up turn it on you know um of course install the software and i'm done that's it it's that easy so uh, thanks for watching guys i hope i helped a lot of you and i hope i like encourage a lot of you to you know go out there and um you know, not feel intimidated by putting together your, your own game PC because it's really not that hard. But um, that's that's for my video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.